School year means a fresh start, and a few schools would welcome it no more than Rabel Elementary. NBC 10's Randy Ayala shows us what changes have come to improve learning and to raise scores. Hey, Randy. Gordon and Natasha, Raverill Elementary is only three weeks into the school year, but they've made some big changes to bring scores up and get the community involved in teaching their kids ways to succeed. School is back in session, and Rayville Elementary is working on bringing their grades up in time for their next report card. Our focus here is, is all of the above. It's the behavior, the discipline, the consistency that the students get. It's all part of the redesign grant. The Department of Education gave the Richland Parish School Board more than $340,000 to make improvements. The school has received an F rating for several years in a row, but Eason says that's a thing of the past. So we have coaches that are coming in that are helping our principals, our administrators, our secretaries. Instructional coaches and a brand new curriculum are part of the plan to put students on the right path. And the students are enjoying it. It's more getting up and moving around and, and hands on. And help from Basketball Hall of Famer Larry Wright. It's his first year as principal at Rabel High, and he says he wants students to have a support system at every turn. It's very important that all the principals are in it together. Encourage these kids to want to learn, to want to be successful. Resident Christina Reeves taught at Richwood years ago. She says the redesign program helped her reach students she was having trouble with before. Learn how to handle the classroom, and it helped us to learn, you know, how to help these children, and it was great. Scores go up, the community working together, and the children happier, and that's what it's all about. To find out what other Richland Parish schools receive grant money, head over to our website, myarklamis.com. In the Media Control Center, Randy Ayala, NBC 10, your local news leader.